couple days ago, I uploaded a video explaining how to extrude a vector logo into a 3D object. I didn't, however, explain how to convert a raster logo into a vector logo. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that using Inkscape. As you can see here, I've got a document in Inkscape that I've already opened, and I've sized it to the size I want. I'm opening up my bitmap image that I found online, and I'm just opening it up as it is. I'm going to make sure that it's embedded, and I'll go ahead and finish. Now I'm resizing it and moving it to be the final size that I want. That's not completely important, but you want to make it a size that makes sense to you. Here I'm going to do 125 millimeters in height. I'm going to move it over so that it is at the origin, in this case the bottom left, but I've sized my artboard to be the size of it, so it's also aligned in the top left. As you can see. Now I go up to the path menu and I choose Trace Bitmap, or Shift-Alt-B, and this is the trick, this is the one that actually does the work. You want a brightness cut off because you're looking for just um, between black and white here. We're switching to just two colors, black and white in this case. Um, now you can smooth stack the scans. Remove the background so it doesn't leave the white area around it. These are all options to improve the results. And now we will go ahead and say OK. And even though it didn't close the window, it did the work. We can see that by pulling it to the side. I'm going to go ahead and delete the original artwork. And if you look at this, now you can edit this vector information to smooth it out and do whatever you'd like to. I'm going to move it back over to the origin. It's easy to just enter the numbers. In this case, 0 and 0. Should line it up pretty much with the top and left as well. Uh, if I want, I can go and smooth this, edit things, make the lines exactly where I want them. But in this case, I'm going to work with the file as it's been generated. I'm going to go and adjust the stroke, and you can see by turning off the fill and turning the stroke on, you can see where the actual lines are. I prefer to have it so it's filled and looks the way I feel like it should look. Now that I've got the graphic looking the way I want it to, in millimeters, and that's important because it will use the same units in Fusion 360 in this case. So if I use millimeters in Inkscape and export it as a plain SVG file, then it will use those same units when I import it into uh, Fusion 360 and it should be the right size. It is, I'm giving it a name and I will go ahead and save it. Now that I've got that saved, I'll show you what it looked like when I brought it into Fusion 360 and extruded it. A process which I demonstrated in a previous video, which I'm going to link at the end of this video. And that is how you turn a raster image into a vector for export as an SVG. See you next time.